welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and today I wanted to show you a haul of everything that I got for Christmas. Never done one of these before but I am always interested in seeing what people ask for for Christmas and what they end up getting so I thought I would do one as well. Harley and I didn't exchange gifts this year because if you saw two vlogs back we went shopping in Branson and that was like our Christmas gift to each other. We both got like new clothing and Harley got a new wallet and just things that we really needed. So we saved up some of the money we would have spent on each other for Christmas and just went and got new clothes from Branson and did a little shopping spree then. But let's go ahead and get into the haul. The first place that I'll start with is my parents because we went there for Christmas Eve and did that Christmas with them first. I don't have a single pair of black leggings that fit me well or that don't have paint on them or holes in them. So I desperately needed a new pair of leggings and I just got some black leggings off of Amazon. I'll link everything below that I can. The next thing I didn't ask for, but my parents got me this really nice, like thick, soft flannel. It's kind of like oversized and has three quarter length sleeves, which will be perfect for next fall. Something that I did ask for that Sephora was out of was the Tower 28 Lip Jelly Gloss in the color Pistachio. I've seen a lot of people rave about that gloss and I really wanted it, but they were all sold out in pretty much a lot of the colors. So my parents got me a gift card to Sephora so that I can order that online when it comes back in stock. I also didn't ask for this item, but they did get us for next year, like a Christmas advent calendar. It also lights up on top. If you can see that, this is so pretty and I thought it would be fun to set it up next year and just put like some candy or a little stocking stuffer or something in each box and maybe Harley and I will alternate opening one each day or something. I don't know. It's just fun and it's a cute piece of decor as well. My mom also got me this kind of like foot mask kit. Um, so it is this foot lotion with like the aloe socks. It came in like a little bundle. Because Sephora was out of the Tower 28 lip jelly stain. Um, my mom asked one of the workers there and they said that this one from the actual Sephora brand is very comparable. So it just says Sephora and is their glossed lip gloss. It looks like that. This one is in the color book. That is the color if you can see that. Um, the worker said that this one is like pretty much the same exact color as pistachio and the formulas are very similar. So maybe this is a dupe. I don't know. I don't think it's too much more expensive to get the Tower 28 one, but I'll let you know how this one works. From my parents, I also um, asked for this little gift set from Paula's Choice. I've been wanting to try the Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant for a while now. Um, and there's this little like sample kit for the holidays or holiday kit that had the sunscreen and a travel size of the BHA exfoliant in it together. So I got this little kit. I actually applied this last night after I showered and I already felt a ginormous difference on how smooth my skin was this morning. So after this runs out, I'm probably going to end up buying the full bottle of it. It's just really expensive. I think it's like $38 for the full size of this, but I actually love it so far and I've only tried it once, but that is what that looks like. And I've actually been needing some new face razors, which is probably also what I'll get with my Sephora gift card, but they did get me this pack of like eyebrow trimming razors. One has like brushes and, and a comb on this one um, with a razor, and then this one is just the razor. I actually used this on my face last night before I put that exfoliator on. Um, from Polish Choice and my face feels so smooth and amazing right now. So I definitely needed some new razors. And then while they were at Sephora, they also got me one of these nourishing and soothing masks that I can do. Coconut extract and hydrating hyaluronic acid. I have like normal to dry skin. Uh, so my face does need some hydration sometimes. So this mask will come in handy. I'll probably do that at some point this week. My parents did also get me a Target gift card and I'll show you these those things. Um, but I think as far as from my parents, that is all that I asked for. If you don't know, my husband and I live in a tiny home. Um, I'll link the tour above if you wanna go watch. I love our layout and I love our tiny home. And I also love that it forces us to restrict how many things we can buy and just like clutter and keep in our house. So. I don't ask for a lot of like 
big like physical objects because we just do not have the space for it. Before I move on to the gift card, I did get a little gift from, oh, I need one thing. I did get this little gift from my brother and sister-in-law, his wife. So it came in this adorable pencil or makeup pouch. I love flowers and this is like embroidered on here and it's just the prettiest colors. I love this pouch, but inside she got me this perfume that smells amazing. The name on it is Audrey. It's Mark and James Badgley Mishka Audrey perfume. I actually love the scent of this. I wore it all day today and it smells amazing. She also got me a new <laughs> beauty blender, which I needed really bad. It's the Real Techniques one. I have been reapplying this every night before bed and all throughout the day. It's the Mario Badescu Rose Lip Balm. That is what it looks like. I had never tried this before, but I love the applicator on it. It's just like kind of a generic applicator, but I like how easy it is to put it on my lips. I actually need to put some on right now. It is super hydrating and it locks in moisture for a long time. And then the last thing that they got, which I'm really excited to try, I have heard about this all over Instagram and YouTube, and I'm sure it's on TikTok. And my sister was saying she wanted some of this. It is a, um, it's on another language. <laughs> Revive Serum Ginseng and Snail Mucin. I don't know, I've been hearing a lot about snail mucin. You guys probably have too. I don't know what the hype of it is, but Natalie, my sister-in-law, did pick up some of this for us and I'm excited to try it out. So that is pretty much everything that I opened on Christmas Eve at my parents' house. And then before I move on to my grandparents, I wanna show you what I got with the Target gift card that they gave me. Um, and they also gave me $50 in my stocking. So I had $100 today to spend at Target and I'm very excited with everything that I picked up. So the thing that I went in there for and was excited the most about was, you probably can't guess, this dash camera. My favorite part about driving home is all of the stunning, beautiful sunsets that I see on the way home. I do have to drive an hour on the interstate to work and home, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, it just depends on traffic, but I figured a dash camera would be a really good thing to have just with that much driving, I could get in a wreck one day. Um, it's just like safety precautions, but also I mainly wanted to get this to record all of the sunsets. And apparently I am not the only one that thinks that because they have some pretty autumn trees on the front. Um, this had really amazing reviews on Target. It was $70. I saw it on sale for 45 and I'm so mad at myself that I didn't pick it up whenever it was on sale. But I was just like, I don't know if I want it. And then it went full price and I was like, dang it, I really wanted that. I should have got it on sale. But I'm happy to have it regardless and I got to use a gift card for it. Now this wasn't necessarily something super exciting, but it is something that we need. Um, it's just this Lemmy Shine Disposal Cleaner. I need some new pins at home and at work. So I picked up this Sharpie Pin S Gel 0.77 millimeter style pen. I actually saw Exo McKenna talk about these pens. She briefly mentioned what pen she uses and I was like, she says they're good. I'm like, I'm going to get them because I need some new pens. So this one came with two black, one red, and one blue. So I thought that was a great pack. It was like $5.99 for these pens. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know that the Bite Beauty Mascara is my favorite mascara of all time. The second runner up is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara in the green color. Now, the Bite Beauty Mascara sadly has been discontinued. I found some at TJ Maxx like last year. I grabbed all that they had and stocked up, but my supply has run out, unfortunately. And I had heard some good things about the Stila, I don't even know which one this is, the Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. So, the wand looks very similar to the Bite Beauty one, if you can see that. It's a little bit like thicker and more voluminous. I had seen online um, that some reviews said that this was comparable to the Bite Beauty one. I also went to Target and specifically to get, um, well, the dash camera and then I wanted the green Essence Slash Princess Mascara. The only reason I don't use that one as much is that it flakes and smudges really bad. Um, but they were all sold out anyway. So <laughs> I got just a travel size 
of this Stila one to see if I would like it. That is what the long wand looks like. It's a little bit more fluffy and voluminous looking. 100% gonna try out this mascara for the rest of the week and I'll update you on if it's comparable to Bite Beauty or if it's even better, that would be great. Well, I don't know if that'd be great because this is kind of expensive. This travel size was $12 and the only reason I got it was because I had a gift card <laughs> and the full size is like 26 so maybe I shouldn't have gotten like an expensive one to try but okay the last thing that I got from Target this is the Ninja Express Chop. We do not have like a food processor or a chopper or anything like that um, and I've been really needing one for some of the recipes that I've been making lately so this says that it can chop mince or puree ingredients into soups sauces dressings toppings dips and more. We have a Ninja blender, but it's really big and I find that it sometimes doesn't chop things as well because everything just like sinks like down, you know, to the bottom where the blades are and it doesn't like, I don't know, it doesn't like chop and mince things as well as like this chopper would. So I'm so, so excited to use this. It says that it can do like full onions and make garlic and herbs, hummus. This is a really good deal. Some of the Cuisinart and other brands that were like the same size were $34 plus. One was even like $45. So if you can find this Ninja Express Chop, I would say to go ahead and get it if you've been wanting a food processor or a chopper. That is everything that I got from my parents um, and my family's side of the Christmas. Now we can move on to my grandma's house. I think one of my most exciting gifts that I received this year, I have been needing a new purse for the longest time. The one that I have now is literally falling apart. Like the seams have come out, the handles are ripping, and it was an old cheap one from TJ Maxx that I got like five years ago. Um, and it just looks really dingy and has been falling apart. And it's also really heavy. So I was on the hunt for a new purse and I think I found my favorite purse that I've like literally ever seen. So I got this purse from Zara. I'll try to link it below if I can. The last time I checked, they were sold out of both colors. There was this one that's like a cream and black and it has like gold hardware details on it. Um, it's also a crossbody, which I love. I use crossbody purses all the time and just throw them over my shoulder. But I also love that it had the handles because sometimes I just need to pick up my bag and go. I like that it also zips and it holds just the right amount of things. I switched out all my things into it today. So I have my wallet, I have lotion and pepper spray and chapstick, and I still have a lot more room in here. So this is like the perfect size for me. It's like basically as big as my head. So it's a smaller purse, but I just love how it fits. It literally goes with everything and is just the prettiest bag. One of the other things I got from my grandma, which you're probably gonna be like, why did you get that like what i don't understand why you'd ask for that but it is this ginormous clinique moisture surge moisturizer let me tell you if you have normal to dry skin and you need a gel moisturizer this is gel i only like to use gel moisturizers i don't like to use creams because they're too thick for my skin if you need a good gel moisturizer i know that this is expensive which is why i asked for it for christmas but it's the 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator. They are not kidding when they say 100 hour. I have tried so many drugstore alternatives, cheaper alternatives for this moisturizer and just none of them compare. I go back to this one every single time. I don't know what magic ingredient they put in this. So happy to have this back in our bathroom because I have gone so long without it because it's just so expensive, but it really is the best moisturizer, gel moisturizer. I believe on this planet and then this actually came with the Clinique moisturizer I think if you spent like over $50 in Clinique you got a free gift so I got this free gift that includes a eyeliner a lip gloss and the take the day off cleansing balm I've tried the cleansing balm before and I really like it mm, I really like the applicator Wow it's a really pretty color it's in like this pretty peachy pink color and now that it's on the lips it's not sticky at all so 
I don't know. I'm re I really, really like this lip gloss. It's in the color 07 Air Kiss Pop. That was a nice little free gift that got included with the moisturizer. But the last thing that I asked for from my grandparents was this Get Away Cleanse, Exfoliate, and Boost Shine on the go like holiday gift set from Way. I am so, I'm so excited to have this. The hair oil I haven't tried, but I know it's gonna be good. The detox shampoo I have tried and it's amazing. It's so expensive, but that's why I asked for it for Christmas. And this is like a, I don't know if this is a travel size. It's three fluid ounces. So I don't think it's like their um, full size, but it's still a really good size shampoo. This uh, kit was only $35 USD. And I feel like it's a really good value for what you get. Oh my gosh. It's like a vanilla coconut kind of like, if you close your eyes, you're kind of like in this luxury spa on the beach. That's what it reminds me of. That is what I got from my grandparents. A lot of times when it comes to Christmas gifts, I get just things that are very, I don't know, practical or things that I really want um, that I don't want to necessarily spend the money on at the moment. I forgot to mention my parents did get me a lot of like, underwear and a new pack of bras um they always do that each christmas they also got us some new christmas pajamas which are actually i believe in the wash so i can't show them to you but each year my mom does like to just re-up my underwear bras and kind of like pajamas but now we can move on to what i got in the secret santa at harley's parents house so my in-laws I'm actually pretty excited. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place, but I just saw one more thing. I forgot to mention that my parents got Harley and I, and it's this really cute set of hand and bath towels. They have Christmas trees on them and a little embroidery at the bottom. They're this really pretty like dark green teal color. So we got two hand towels and we also got two matching bath towels. So these are really, really soft. Yeah, I just thought this was a cute set to have. But now on to Secret Santa. I got this um, book. It's called The Red Queen. I've, okay. I started reading Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses yesterday. I know I'm super late, but I told my cousin I've been wanting to read it and she actually owned a copy of the book and she brought it to my grandparents' house whenever on Christmas Day whenever we were opening presents. And I started reading it yesterday. I'm actually almost finished with the book. I've been super into just like the fantasy world now and I wanna finish the book today so that I can purchase the next book, A Court of Mist and Fury, on my Kindle tonight. Anyways, I thought that this book looked really good, Red Queen. I believe this has to do with kind of like a fantasy realm. So excited to read that once I'm done with the Akatar series. I also got this Systema Microwave Soup Mug. You guys know how I am with my soups. I eat soup probably like two or three times a week um, and I'm always taking leftovers to lunch. I work an eight to five in office job and leftovers are my lunches. It'll be nice to have like a soup mug that I can just like carry around and throw in my lunch bag. And then the last thing that was included in that little Secret Santa gift thing was this nice woven blanket. It's got these tassels and it's more like a, if you can see, woven material. It's this really pretty green color. Um, and it's kind of like striped and has some geometric patterns. I don't own a lot of blankets like this. I obviously have a lot of blankets like this one on the couch. We do have a dog so we keep blankets on our couch so that since we're renting, we don't want Macy to tear up the couch. But I didn't have a designated picnic blanket. And I want Harley and I to go on a lot more picnics like in the spring and next summer. We're going to be super outdoorsy. We've already decided we want to do a lot of like hiking adventures and camping and just really outdoorsy things next year. And this would be like the perfect blanket to take like if we go hiking and decide to stop and eat lunch. Um, or if we want to have a picnic, this blanket would be the perfect one to take because it's not like super thick and heavy. It's just kind of like a light woven blanket. So that is pretty much everything that we got for Christmas. Um, my grandma did give us also, we got quite a few gift cards. So I mentioned that my mom and dad got me a Sephora gift card so I could get that Tower 28 lip gloss and some other things. Um, my grandma got Harley and I both $10 Chick-fil-A gift cards, which we love Chick-fil-A. So 
could probably use those this weekend. Um, another set of gift cards we're excited about that we got from Harley's parents is a $25 AMC gift card and a $25 Texas Roadhouse gift card. And the last thing that I'll mention, I kind of got these for myself for Christmas because I really needed some new ones. I have this pair of boots that I'm actually wearing today <laughs> that I wear to work every single day. And they're these short tan booties and the bottom of the heel started falling off of them. So I had to super glue it back on and they're kind of just, they're really just falling apart. I've had them for a very long time and I don't have any other pairs of booties and I really wanted a black pair. And I ordered these off of Nordstrom Rack. They're the brand BP and they're the Wallace booties. These are very similar to the tan boots I have but they look like this. I love the heel, how it's kind of like a little bit of a Western heel and it is very, very short. These are the shoes that I wear every single day. They're from Target, they're like 20 bucks um, and I got them a really long time ago. But these are super comfortable and amazing. And this heel is, it's a little bit taller but not too much taller than the tan ones. I feel like they're pretty close. A lot of black booties I was seeing, like especially the Steve Madden ones, the heel is so tall and I don't want a tall heel. And I really like the point. I feel like it makes it look more professional. And these have a point as well. They're very comfortable to walk in. The only downside is that this ankle part is really tall. So the front of this, it's like a rigid leather. Um, it does kind of cut into my leg a little bit unless I wear like thick tall socks. But I'm hoping that these will just stretch out over time and not be as rigid, which I think that they will. That is everything that I got for Christmas. Super excited. I got a lot of like spa and bath and like shower related things, which I'm excited about. Um, and then obviously this new purse was like the thing I was most looking forward to. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and you I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything I got for Christmas. Let me know in the comments below your favorite, absolute favorite thing that you got for Christmas um, and what it was or the favorite thing that you gifted to someone. I got my sister tickets to see Niall Horn in concert next year and the concert is five days after my birthday so it's kind of like a Christmas present to my sister and a birthday present for me next year. We're seeing him July 17th. So. I'm very excited to see Niall Horn. I was very excited to give her those tickets for Christmas. But let me know the favorite thing that you either received for Christmas or that you gave someone. But that is it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed and I'll just see you in the next one. Bye guys.